So good morning, everyone. Uh, we are ready to start our lesson. Unfortunately, I can't see you, but I will imagine you are with me. And uh, we are going to start from chanting or find comfortable sitting position. Relax your shoulders and broaden your chest. Stretch your spine towards the crown to elongate your neck evenly, front and back of your neck, your chin parallel to the floor. Gently smile to yourself and imagine you smile to everybody in this class. And join your hands in front of the chest, in front of your heart. Lightly close your eyes and bring your awareness inside your body. Leave all the words about past and future. And now two deep breaths. Inhale slowly, open your chest. Exhale slowly, empty your lungs. And again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale to begin. normally and relax your hands on your legs palms facing up for a few more breaths stay still and think about your intentions to this class and promise yourself to practice in a safe way with respect to your body. Don't do anything through the pain or discomfort. Bring your awareness back and open your eyes. If you need to, you can change your sitting position, release your legs, because we're going to do uh, breathing. We're going to do Nadi Shodhana Pranayama. This breathing exercise balancing right and left energy, sun and moon energy. So it's helped to balance our mood. And also it helps to reduce the symptoms of hay fever. Um, I also use in my aroma oil uh, lamp, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to use peppermint oil, just one drop two drops maximum. If you put some more, always wipe it out. Then I will wrap my hands and the deep inhale. This peppermint aroma oil helps to clear the breath and clear your mind. So um, Nadi Shodhana Pranayama, let me show you first. You are going to breathe slowly and deeply. And with inhale, you will gradually open your chest like that. Shoulders relax, chin parallel to the floor. And with exhale, you will slowly release all the air. So you could see my chest expanding in all directions and I'm lifting the chest bone. So your breath, slow and deep and now the hands you will place your right hand over your face your index and middle finger just in between your eyebrows this is our third eye chakra our intuition our inner voice then thumb over the right nostril ring and little finger over the left nostril you will listen to my instructions and i will ask to open or close one nostril you don't have to lift 
your thumb or your fingers away, you just squeeze your nostril or release your nostril. So it's very subtle movement, okay? Find comfortable position. Your left hand, so it's your left hand, relaxed on your leg. Your right hand over your face, your index and middle finger between your eyebrows. And you can also smell um, peppermint oil because your hand closed to your nose. Place your thumb over the right nostril, ring and little finger over the left nostril. Good. And now lightly close your eyes. Without moving your eyes, observe your body from inside. Become aware of position of your body and straighten your back, broaden your chest. Relax your shoulders down, feel the freedom in your neck. Relax your face, relax your jaw. And now inhale slowly through the both nostrils, open your chest. Close your left nostril. Exhale slowly right. Inhale right. Close right nostril, hold, don't breathe. Open left, exhale. Inhale left. Close both nostrils, hold. Open right, exhale. Inhale. Close and hold. Open left, exhale. Inhale. Close and hold. Open right, exhale. Inhale. Close and hold. Open left, exhale. Inhale. Close and hold. Open right, last one, exhale. And release your right hand down, breathe normally. Stay still for a few more breaths. Notice any changes. You become more balanced, calm. You feel more freedom in your chest. Freshness in your nose, in your head. And then bring your awareness back and open your eyes. Good. And now we're going to start from our standing sequence, our standing positions. Come up. Good. If you need to, shake your legs. Go on your mat. Shake your legs, release tension, to up your legs after sitting position. Good. And now start twisting from side to side to warm up your whole body. If it's comfortable, lift opposite heel to twist even more. Keep your arms, your hands relaxed. You can feel the stretch around your hips, your lower back, your waist, between your ribs, your shoulder blades, your arms and your whole spine. And then slow down. 
seated and now bring your feet hip distance apart and parallel spread your toes place your hands in your hips and rock forward and backward towards your toes towards your heels to become aware of four corners of your feet on the floor and then find central position on your feet if it's comfortable spread your toes and press four corners of your feet down towards the floor your feet grounded straighten your legs and lift your kneecaps pull your kneecaps up towards your hips pull your low stomach in roll your shoulders to the back and down broaden your chest and now join your palms in prayer position and we are going to do upward salute three times your feet grounded on the floor and with inhale raise your hands join your palms stretch up and back to the back exhale prayer position come back to the center twice more inhale stretch up then back to the back exhale prayer position one more round inhale exhale sun breathing inhale salute to the sun open your chest exhale fold forward and bow to the mother earth inhale raise your head press your feet down keep your legs strong and stretch your spine exhale fold forward a little bit in your legs press your feet down inhale come up open your chest and open your heart exhale prayer position roll your shoulders broaden your chest another circle inhale salute to the sun to a new day exhale fold forward inhale raise your head stretch your spine open your shoulders exhale fold forward inhale come up and open front of your body your chest exhale prayer position one more round inhale exhale inhale raise your head stretch exhale fold forward inhale come up open your chest exhale prayer position and now sun salutation go to the front edge of the mat for more uh, easier variation keep your feet hip distance apart if you want to go deeper bring your feet together press your feet down stretch out to your crown open your chest inhale raise your hands bend to the back exhale fold forward a little bit in your legs inhale raise your head press your feet down broaden your shoulders and with exhale walk to the back inhale high plank your shoulders over your hands stretch forward exhale bend your knees bend your elbows lay down Cobra, roll your shoulders, then lift your chest if you need to, keep your elbows bent. And with exhale, lift your pelvis up, downward dog, spread your fingers and pedal your feet to stretch your ankles, your calves, back of your knees. If it's comfortable, you can move your head from side to side, relax your neck. Keep lifting your sitting bones up. And then a little bit in your hands and walk towards your hands. Bring your feet hip distance apart and parallel. Press your feet down. Inhale, raise your head, stretch your legs, your spine, open your shoulders. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up, open your chest. Exhale, prayer position. Another circle. Inhale, salute to a new day, to the sun. Exhale, fold forward and bow to the Mother Earth. Inhale, raise your head, stretch your legs, your spine. Exhale, walk to the back. Inhale, stretch your legs, your spine, pull your stomach in. Exhale, bend your knees, bend your elbows, lay down. 
Inhale, cobra, open your shoulders to the back. Exhale, lift your pelvis up. And now find the balance between your feet, between your hands, spread your fingertips. If you need to, keep your knees slightly bent. And move your pelvis to the back and up. Lift your sitting bones up. With next exhale, push both heels down toward the floor. Inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale, push your heels down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Stay for a few breaths. Relax, sprays between your shoulder blades. Relax your neck. Relax your face. And now look between your hands. And walk towards your hands, bring your feet, hip distance apart and parallel. Press your feet down, inhale, stretch your spine, open your shoulders. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up, open your chest. Exhale, prayer position. One more round. Inhale, salute to the sun. Exhale, bow to the mother earth. Inhale, raise your hands, stretch your spine, open your shoulders. And with exhale, walk to the back. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, cobra, roll the shoulders, open your chest. Exhale, lift your pelvis up. Good. And now stay in this position. Spread your fingers, your palms grounded on the floor. Slowly push your heels down. And at the same time, keep lifting your sitting bones up. Slow down your breath. Relax your face, relax your jaw. Keep your eyes still and passive. Look between your legs. And raise your head and walk towards your hands. Bring your feet, hip distance apart, hand parallel. Inhale, raise your head, stretch your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up, open your chest. Exhale, breath position. Stay for a few breaths. Lightly close your eyes. Allow your blood circulation to settle. Allow your breath to settle. And then bring your awareness back. Open your eyes. And now we're going to hold each position for a few breaths. I'm going to turn towards you so you can see me. My feet hip distance apart. We are going to do chair position with knees parallel. I imagine, imagine chair behind you and bend your knees, moving your pelvis to the back, look straight ahead. Don't drop your knees inside, your feet parallel, your knees parallel, stomach in to support your low back, broaden your chest, bring your hands in front of you. This time, palms together. It, keep your knees parallel and facing forward. And now open your right hand out to the right and look to your right thumb. Keep stretching your arms from inside of your chest. You can feel muscles around your shoulder blades, between your ribs. If you want to go deeper, bend your knees deeper. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep your knees bent, come back to the center, join your palms. Inhale, come up, raise your hands, stretch up. Exhale, release your hands. 
mountain pose, roll your shoulders to the back, broaden your chest. Good. And now left side, place your hands on your hips. Imagine chair behind you, move your pelvis to the back, stomach in, broaden your chest. Bring your hands in front of you, in line with your shoulders. And now keep your knees facing forward, open your left hand out to the left, and look at your left thumb. Stretch your arms from inside of your chest, away from each other. Keep reaching with your left hand to the back, right hand forward. And breathe, don't shorten your breath. Bend your knees deeper. Good, then come back to the center. Get your knees still facing forward. Inhale, come up, stretch up. Exhale, release your hands. Mountain posture for a few breaths. You can feel warmth in your hands, your arms, your shoulders. This is blood circulation, energy circulation, rejuvenating our joints. Good. And now a little bit more difficult. So uh, watch me first. My knees facing forward. I will use my left hand against my right knee. Don't move your knees inside. And try to twist more and then stretch your uh, left arm okay so let's try bend your knees your knees facing forward both legs strong stomach in place your right hand on your left knee and twist you can stay in this position if it's comfortable stretch your left arm up and to the back look at your left thumb keep twisting bend your knees deeper Good. Keep your knees bent. Place your left hand on your right knee. Keep your knees facing forward and then twist to the right. If it's comfortable, stretch your right arm to the back and up. Slow down your breath. Good. Then come back to the center. Inhale, raise your hands, stretch up. Exhale, fold forward. If you need to, you can bend your knees. If it's comfortable, keep your legs straight. Lift your kneecaps. Completely relax your stomach, your chest, your neck. Relax your shoulders. Relax your face. Keep pressing your feet down so you can feel the stretch on the back of your legs and around your hips. And raise your head, place your hands on your hips, press your feet down and with inhale slowly come up using the strength of your legs. And roll your shoulders to the back and down, stretch up your crown, mountain posture, slow down your breath. Okay. And now go to the front edge of the mat. Inhale, raise your hands, stretch up. Exhale, fold forward. Place your hands at the front edge of the mat. Walk your feet to the back. And this time, place your knees on the floor, underneath your hips. Spread your fingertips, middle fingers facing forward. Four corners of your palms, ground it on the floor, not just your wrists. Pull your stomach in. And stretch your right leg to the back. So I'm doing my right leg too. Stretch your right leg to the back, parallel to the floor. Both hands grounded on the floor. And with accent, bend your elbows to the back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, come up. Three more times. 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more. Exhale. And with inhale, come up. Pull your stomach in. If you feel stable, stretch your left arm forward. This is diagonal stretch. If you want to go deeper and do back bend, point toes on your right foot and raise your right leg higher, raise your head, look straight ahead. If you want to go deeper with your left hand, hold your right foot and push your foot to the back and up, go higher. Breathe. And then again, stretch parallel to the floor. Pull your stomach in. And then release. Child posture, move your pelvis to the back, towards your heels. If it's comfortable, sit down on your heels. Place your forehead on the floor, slide your hands beside your sides. If your head over the floor, you can support your head with your fists or with the brick. If you have a break, relax in this position for a few deep breaths. Allow your powers to go down. And then slide your hands forward towards the front edge of the mat. Your knees underneath your hips, stomach in. And stretch your left leg to the back, parallel to the floor. Keep both hands grounded. Exhale, bend your elbows to the back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend your elbows to the back, not out. Inhale, come up. Three more times, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. One more, exhale, inhale. Keep pulling your stomach in, keep stretching your left leg through the heel. If you feel stable, stretch your right arm forward. Diagonal stretch, keep stretching parallel to the floor from your heel towards your crown, towards your fingertips. Stay calm, breathe slowly. If you want to go deeper, if you want to do back bend, point toes on your left foot and raise your left leg high, raise your head. If you want to go deeper with your uh, right hand, hold your foot and lift your foot higher, open your chest, go higher over the floor. And then stretch parallel to the floor. And with exhale release, and again, child posture. Sit down on your heels, place your forehead on the floor or on the brick, relax. With inhale slowly and curve your spine up to the sitting. Allow your blood circulation to settle, open your chest. Okay, and now I'm going to show you preparation for the headstand. Um, you will need the wall, just let me show you preparation. And while you're watching, try to stretch your neck and open your chest. 
while you're watching, try to open your chest. Okay, I'm going to move my camera so I can show you closer. So I'm going to fold my mat twice. So just like that against the wall. And uh, because I will need space between wall and uh, you know my back, I will use brick to support my hands. So to measure the distance between your elbows, you will hold your elbows and place your elbows at the end of the mat. Then interlock your fingers. So back of your fingers, support it with the brick so you don't roll your hands like that. Back of your arm, uh, your arms, edge of your arms, edge of your wrists, your fingers, everything supported, everything grounded. The thumbs touching, the tips of your thumbs touching. So this is the base for your headstand. Then you will place your crown, top of your head on the wall, and your hands around the back of your head. You will move your shoulders away from your ears. And you can stay in this position, especially if you're doing the first time. Don't go any further. Okay? So I'm going to move the camera again. So you will see it from the different angle. Okay, let's start. So if you can do it against the wall, if not in the middle, hold your elbows to match the distance, interlock your fingers, place your crown, then turn your toes. You can stay in this position, just press your elbows, press your forearms, your wrists. If you never done this position, don't go any further. If you did, lift your knees over the floor, settle in this position, your elbows grounded. If it's any discomfort in your neck, in your shoulders, place your knees, release the posture. If everything is right, walk closer towards the wall. Again, settle. Your elbow is grounded on the floor, your forearms, your wrists. If you want to go deeper, kick your one leg, then join with the other leg, and stretch your legs up. Pull your stomach in, pull your tailbone in, and keep stretching up away from the floor. Your gaze parallel to the floor. So you're standing not on your forehead, but on your crown, very top of your head. If you had enough, go down. And then slowly release. And relax in child posture. Your forehead on the floor, hands beside your sides. Allow your blood circulation to settle. And slowly and curve your spine up to sitting. Again, allow your blood circulation to settle. Open your chest. Okay. And now unfold your mat. Unfold your mat. Okay. And uh, let me change the angle slightly. 
And now we need to stretch the neck. Find comfortable sitting position. If you need to, you can always sit down on the block or cushion. If you round in your back, sit down on the cushion or block, just like that. Release the flesh from underneath your sitting bones. Press your heels down, broaden your chest. Inhale, raise your hands. For a few breaths, keep stretching up. And then with exhale, release your hands. Okay. And now your right leg with your right hand, hold your knee from inside and then open your knee out to the side. We're going to do head to knee posture. If your knee goes too high, you can support your thigh with a brick or cushion. Again, release the flesh from underneath your sitting bones. Flex your foot towards you. With inhale, raise your hand, stretch up. And with exhale, fold forward. Hold outsides of your foot. If you can't reach, place belt on the balls of your feet. And with inhale, open your chest. Stay for a couple of breaths. Press your left heel down towards the floor. Both sitting bones grounded on the floor. Broaden your chest. One more inhale. And with exhale, fold forward, open your elbows out to the sides. Look at your left knee. Continue breathing slowly. Don't squeeze your shoulders, keep stretching your spine, your neck. Don't push your body down, just keep stretching towards your foot. Okay, then raise your head, inhale, come up, slide your hands on the belt, open your chest. Good, and then remove the belt, release your legs, shake your legs, lean forward a few times. And now with your left hand, open your left knee out to the side. And again, if you need to, use brick or cushion to support your knee, if you need to. Release the flesh from underneath your sitting bones. Flex your right foot towards you, press your right heel down. Inhale, raise your hand, stretch up. And with exhale, stretch forward. If you can't reach your foot, place the belt on the top of your foot, on the balls of your foot. With inhale, raise your head, broaden your chest. Let's take for a couple of breaths. Your right leg strong, your right heel grounded on the floor. And with exhale, fold forward. Keep pressing your right leg down towards the floor. Keep stretching your spine forward towards your right foot. And with inhale, slowly raise your head, lift your upper body, open your chest. Good. And then remove belt. Bring your legs in front of you, shake your legs, massage your legs. And now sitting twist. Uh, this is a lot of fish posture. Bend your right knee. Again, I'm doing my right leg too. So bend your right knee and place your right foot over the left leg. You can stay in this position. If you want more stretch for your hips, 
bend your left leg and then sit down uh, and relax your shoulders, keep your hips level, keep your shoulders level, your right foot grounded on the floor. With inhale, open your chest and simply turn to your right, settle in this position. Don't lean to the back, your crown over the table, keep stretching your spine to broaden your chest. You can stay in this position. If you want to go deeper, inhale, stretch your left arm, your left side. Exhale, twist more, hook your elbow over the knee and look over the right shoulder. Move your shoulders to the back. Relax your face. Deepen your breath. And keep lifting your chest bone up. Then slowly come back to the center, release your legs, and again massage your hips, your thighs, your shins, lean forward towards your ankles. And now other side, bend with your hands, bend your left knee, and then place your left foot over the right leg. You can stay in this position. If you want to go deeper, bend your right knee, just your hips level, just your shoulders level, don't lean to the back, your left foot grounded. Good. And now simply turn to your left, don't lean on your left hand, your crown facing up, keep stretching up your spine. If you want to go deeper, Inhale, stretch your right arm, your right side. Exhale, twist more, hook your elbow over the knee and look over your left shoulder. Don't lean to the side. Your crown over your pelvis, over your tailbone. Keep moving both shoulders to the back. And slowly come back to the center. And again, release your legs. Massage your hips, your thighs, your shins. Lean forward a few times. Good. And now forward bend with both legs in front of you. Again, you can use the bend if you need to. Release the flesh from underneath your sitting bones. Flex your feet towards you, press your heels down towards the floor. Inhale, raise your hands, stretch up. And with exhale, stretch forward, hold outsides of your feet. If you need to, place belt on the top of your feet. And then broaden your chest. Press your heels down, your legs down, lift your kneecaps. One more inhale, exhale, fold forward, open your elbows out to the sides, so look at your knees, keep pressing your legs down, but don't shorten your breath, keep your face relaxed, keep your eyes relaxed, don't squeeze your teeth, your legs grounded on the floor, keep stretching your spine forward towards your toes, towards your feet. And raise your head. And with inhale, slowly come up, slide your hands on the belt if you're using the belt. Open your chest. And now remove the belt. 
make sure you have space behind you now roll on your back vertebra by vertebra lay down elongate back of your neck pull your head to the back and now bring your knees towards your chest hold your knees rock from side to side And now join your big toes together, open your knees out to the sides and circle your knees. Just warm up your hips, your inner thighs. And change the direction. And, and now stretch your legs up and with your hands open your legs out to the sides place your elbows on the floor roll your shoulders down towards the floor and feel the stretch on the inside of your legs your hips your groins breathe slowly Now with your hands, bring your legs closer to each other, bend your knees and place your feet closer to your heels, uh, to, to your hips, bound angle, join the soles of your feet together and open your knees out to the sides. Bring your arms over your head. If it's comfortable, hold your elbows, tuck your chin slightly in, close your eyes. Smile to yourself. And with each exhale, imagine air goes through your hips. Keep relaxing your hips, your groins, your inner thighs. Allow your knees to go down towards the floor. Now with your hands, bring your knees closer to each other. Final relaxation, Shavasana. If you feel tension around your lower back, one more time, hold your knees, rock from side to side to let go of the tension to massage your lower back. And place your feet on the floor. If you need to, keep your feet mid distance apart, your knees together. If everything is right with your low back, slide your heels forward and relax your legs. If you chin up and you're squeezing back of your neck, you will need to support your head with the cushion. If you have eye pillow, place this eye pillow over your eyes. And then roll your shoulders down towards the floor. Open your palms up to the ceiling and relax. Stay still in this position and allow the energy to flow freely. Rejuvenate your body, heal your body, and make connection between your mind, body, and spirit.
gradually with each exhale. Keep relaxing deeper and deeper. And gently bring your awareness back. You can move your fingers. Move your toes to awaken your body. And bend your legs one by one. Roll to your right side completely and support your head with your right arm, your left hand on your left side. And place your left hand on the floor in front of you and unjour your spine. Okay, and now find any comfortable sitting position. Go closer towards you. Join your palms. One more time, close your eyes and notice any changes. Now we're going to chant Om Mani Padme Hum. I hail to the jewel inside the lotus to send our protection, our good wishes to everyone. Inhale. Om Mani Padme Hum. One more. Om Mani Padme Hum. And then bring your awareness back and open your eyes. Namaste. <laughs> Okay, unmute all. Gallery. How are you everyone? Well, uh, let me see. Oh, unmute, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet then. Yeah, how do you feel? That was lovely. lovely.